In her latest novel, In the Country of Others, award-winning author Layla Slimani weaves a gripping story of love, loss, and resistance set against the backdrop of the French-Moroccan War in the mid-1950s. The novel follows the story of Mathilde, a French woman who marries Amine, a Moroccan soldier, and moves with him to his village in the rural countryside of Morocco. As the war intensifies and the country is plunged into turmoil, Mathilde finds herself torn between her love for her husband and her loyalty to her country. At the heart of In the Country of Others is the exploration of identity, both individual and collective, and how it is shaped and transformed by war and conflict. Slimani skillfully portrays the complexities of the French-Moroccan relationship, which is fraught with historical, cultural, and political tensions. Mathilde's experiences as a white French woman living in a predominantly Muslim and Arab society, and her struggles to adapt to a culture that is vastly different from her own, provide a powerful commentary on the dynamics of power, privilege, and marginalization. The novel also delves into the themes of love and marriage, and the ways in which they are challenged and transformed by war. Mathilde's marriage to Amine is a poignant portrayal of the difficulties and complexities of intercultural relationships, particularly in the midst of political and social upheaval. As the war intensifies and Amine is forced to choose between his loyalty to his country and his love for Mathilde, their relationship is put to the ultimate test. Another significant theme in the novel is the resistance and resilience of the Moroccan people in the face of colonization and oppression. Slimani vividly depicts the brutalities and injustices of the war, including the torture and murder of innocent civilians, and the ways in which the Moroccan people fight back against their oppressors. Through the characters of Amine and his family, Slimani portrays the courage, strength, and determination of the Moroccan people to reclaim their land, their culture, and their dignity. Slimani's prose is lyrical and evocative, and she creates a vivid sense of place and atmosphere that immerses the reader in the world of the novel. Her descriptions of the Moroccan countryside, with its vast landscapes, vibrant colors, and rich cultural traditions are particularly captivating. At the same time, she doesn't shy away from the harsh realities of war and violence, and her depictions of the brutality and horror of the conflict are both powerful and haunting. One of the strengths of the novel is its nuanced and complex characterization. Slimani presents her characters as multifaceted and flawed individuals, who are shaped by their experiences, their cultural backgrounds, and their personal histories. Mathilde, in particular, is a fascinating character, whose inner conflict and emotional journey are at the heart of the novel. Slimani portrays her with empathy and sensitivity, while also exploring the ways in which her privilege and her cultural identity shape her perspective. Overall, In the Country of Others is a powerful and thought-provoking novel that explores the complexities of identity, love, and resistance in the context of war and conflict. Slimani's skillful storytelling and evocative prose make for a gripping and immersive reading experience, while her nuanced and complex characterization adds depth and richness to the novel. Highly recommended for readers who enjoy historical fiction and stories of love and loss set against the backdrop of war.